Hi everyone, I hope that you all are doing amazing. I hope that you're staying safe and staying sane at the same time. So today it's Saturday, 25th of April. And I'm just from watching an amazing movie that I want to give a review about. It's called Overcomer. It's a Christian-based movie. And first of all, I'd like to say that I super enjoy Christian movies. Like, it's just a way that they get to my soul in such a deep way that I can't even explain. Um, it's almost the same level that worship music gets to my soul. And my very first Christian movie that I had a blast watching was War Room. If you've not watched War Room, my God, you need to get on with it like a sub. War Room is absolutely amazing. It's super powerful. It teaches you the power of prayer and what prayer can do in your life. It's it's such an amazing movie. And the best part about Christian movies is the fact that they usually use things that we go through in our lives on a day-to-day basis so as to give us lessons and God's opinion about the various things we go through and how we can get past the challenges we face in life. War Room was absolutely amazing. And for a long time, I used to think that... For a, last, for a very long time, I used to think that I would not get a movie that would get to the point that War Room got in my life. And guess what? So I think Overcomer was released last year. It's, it's, it's directed by a person called Alex Kendrick. I've never heard about him before this. But... Whoo! Guys. If there's... Like, first of all, am I okay? My brother likes to call me a crybaby because I'm those people who really sob when I'm watching movies. Like mine is not even a tea balance in tears or anything like that. Like I really cry. And Overcomer has made me cry so much because it's reminded me about... And you know, the beautiful thing about Overcomer, it's so in line with my book. I was even thinking like, I wish I even watched this movie even before that I wrote my book. Probably I'll have, I would have had even more insights to include in my book because it's basically about the story of a girl who had had daddy issues she had serious daddy issues when she was growing up and for a long time she was raised up by her grandmother and for a long a long time she used to struggle with so much that she became so rebellious she began to steal things i think she became a kleptomaniac just because of the things that she was going through and probably she felt like her life is not enough and that's why she had the urge to go picking people things and all that but the beauty of it is she was an athlete so she i'm sorry if i'm bringing ruining, ruining it for every anyone but i hope it will inspire to even go to watch the movie so she was an athlete and she used to be asthmatic so you see in movies they have to bring a twist and turn just to add some drama and to make it interesting so the thing is you know when you're asthmatic most of the time people will tell you avoid doing strenuous activities that will stress your lungs avoid doing this avoid avoid doing that so the bottom line is her father came into her life later on and when she was winning her first ever race she won it because her father was coaching her through it and her father was diabetic to a point whereby he even lost his sight so as he was coaching her he was in the hospital bed in the icu and he was speaking to her and his friend uh, who was currently her coach went and recorded him and you guys that movie is absolutely deep it just made me think about the role of a father in your life and the beauty about this movie is the fact that it shows it shows the first role that god plays as a father in your life and then it brings in the second role that your earthly plays in your life your earthly father plays in your life and it's so beautiful to know that imagine with god you are an overcomer like ah, preach sister um it just it's just made me realize that people are fighting battles every single day of their lives like so many people are in points of their lives whereby they feel like they don't have a way out so many people are at situations whereby they feel like fine i have hit rock bottom and you see what's all over um social media and people keep telling you that don't worry when you hit rock bottom the only place you can go is up but the question is you're at that point and you're asking yourself fine the only way i can go is up but how do i even go to that point how do i go up you know and i'm just here to tell you that there is something about god and his love and his victory that nobody can ever feel on your behalf as in God's love is something that no one can ever stand in the gap on your behalf. Like you have to want to, you want to want it so bad that you want to feel it yourself. You, do you understand where I'm coming from? Like imagine in that movie just made me see that 
God is usually so close to you and he just wants you to let him in so that he can come and do a miracle in your life. And imagine, I know right now it's not an easy time and yesterday I was just thinking that, you know what, I may pretend that I'm okay but deep down I just want all this to be over like yesterday. I want our lives to go back to normal. I want to be able to know that I can just take a drive to Naivasha and just see the beautiful Lake Naivasha. I just want to know that I can just go to Mombasa just to spend time with my bestie. I, I just want to know that I can do anything that I want to do. I can stay out late because it's not illegal, you know. I just want things to go back to normal so that people can stop losing their jobs, so that people's businesses can start picking up again. I want things to go back to normal so that people can stop falling sick. I want things to go back to normal so that we can stop living in fear, stop living in anxiety, stop living in strenuous times, stop living in stressful times. Like, I really just want all this to be over. Over. but the truth is um it will not be over until god says it's over and the thing is i think god usually say, wants us to learn certain lessons that certain lessons when we go through certain seasons in our lives and for us to get past that season he has to he has to ensure that we have actually learned that what he wanted us to learn do you get me like you could be going through a season of singlehood and you're just asking god i have been single for so long i want to get a life partner i want to start um i want to be in love i want to be loved but the thing is you have not even learned the lesson that god wants you to learn in that particular season for him to take you from this season to the next season so i think it's time we shift our focus to learning the lessons that god wants us to learn during the seasons that we're in and i am currently in a season where by I am just falling more and more in love with God and he's just teaching me about his his the beauty of his majesty and he's just teaching me teaching me about learning how to let go and let God like genuinely like because we are in a season whereby we cannot do much on our own like even our doctors even the researchers uh, who are coming up with vaccines they are not doing that by their own power they're doing it because they have been enabled by god your mind is a gift that god has given you so that you can be able to navigate through life properly and i'm just here to tell you that you are an overcomer and the movie overcomer is so powerful because it constantly reminds us that you know what as long as god is on your team imagine there is nothing that you cannot overcome and the thing is it's it's such a beautiful feeling to know that in the end God is working out something. In the end everything will work together for your good. It's such a beautiful feeling to know that there's someone above in heaven who cares about you more than anyone else in, the, in this world would care. And I know you are going through a serious... You know there are times whereby you go through certain things in your life that you cannot even explain to anyone. Have you ever been in a very deep situation in your life that you don't even know how you can begin to talk about it because nobody will understand you feel like nobody will get you nobody will feel you nobody will you know sometimes we go through very dark situations in our life and we cannot even speak about them because first you fear you fear judgment second you fear misunderstanding and third you just feel like nobody will be able to just get you past that season but the beauty about it is god says that he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb and that only means that he knows you better than anyone knows you and i'm just here to tell you please first of all go watch the movie of Akama. yes you might not be a christian yes you believe uh, you may have believe have different beliefs but i'm just here to tell you that there's a supreme being above somewhere who's watching over everyone on earth and who's out here to just ensure that things work together for our good and i'm also here to just remind you that that season you're going through is hard and this corona thing all of us are going through a very difficult time in our lives and you might look at people on social media and you're thinking oh my god their life looks better than mine oh my god um things are not working out for me but they're working out for so and so you start comparing yourself to other people and you start feeling like your life is at a standstill but i'm just here to tell you that everyone is fighting different battles my battle might not be about finances my battle might be about something even darker that you don't even know about someone's battle may be about health yours is not about health someone's battle may be about a, a failing marriage is not about marriage someone's battle may be uh, about losing a loved one yours is not about that basically we are all fighting different battles and everyone knows how to deal with their own battles differently so that's why you, sometimes you'll see some people on social media on social media and you're thinking these people's lives look like they're moving on so swiftly or their life is so smooth but the truth is every single day they are fighting something and i am just here to tell you that you are an overcomer in jesus and i want you to listen to a song called i believe i mean called you say by lauren diagle and it's basically about what god says about you he says that you're strong 
when you think when you think you're weak he says that you're powerful when you think you're just um weak he says that you are enough when you think that you're not enough like i want you to start proclaiming what god says in your life and about you and forget about what you think or what the world thinks about you i think and the first trick to doing that is just by reading the word of god and it's it's so beautiful because god says that he's placed his word over his above his name think about it god's name is powerful it's the most powerful name in this world but imagine he says that he's placed his word above his name so when you read god god's word and when you just internalize it and when you just leave it out imagine the kind of power you will be walking with in your mind and in your heart imagine the kind of powerful woman you will be the kind of powerful man you will be and i'm just here to tell you imagine read god's word because that's where he'll you will see his promises that's why you'll read jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and he says for i know the plans i have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a future and a hope so what what kind of hope are you holding on to and i'm just here to ask you um i know that the people out here who are like the, the the saying that says a dying man clutching at a straw imagine you're in, a, in an ocean and you're drowning when you see anything on the on the top on the surface you will sorry when you see anything you will try and clutch at it because you think that it will save you but i'm just here to tell you what are you to ask you what are you holding on to what kind of hope are you holding on to for me it's the hope in god and knowing that he's got my back and that with him i am on an overcomer and i'm just here to tell you that imagine this too shall pass we all want this season to end we're all praying that god can just come through for us in this dark season and i believe that he is doing something for us and please go and watch overcomer on it's now on netflix please go watch it also listen to you say by lauren jagley i'm going to link both of them in this description box thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that it's made you see that in the end we all shall overcome things will get better for everyone and we shall get past this and we shall become out stronger thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that it's made you smile i hope that it's inspired you and i hope that it's drawn you closer to god till next time goodbye